Okay, now let me let me ask you this: what what uh, sparked you to go after these people? Because let me tell you, although I, what I I think calling your mother and calling you a pedophile is definitely a low a, a low shot. However. If you were videotaping me and you were coming after me and busting my balls, I'm going to do everything I can to screw you, too. So let me ask, what brought you there? What made you decide to go after these people in the first place? Well, I'm, I'm not even going after them. That's not the point. I was just out there filming, and I put up a sign saying exactly what I was doing because every time I went out previous to that to get footage for my show, because it is the biggest thing here in Clearwater, and I believe that, you know, if you're trying to if you're trying to do better in the community and do better for yourself personally and right. you have an interest in film and video, um, since I had this free spot on Pinellas Access, I took advantage of it. And what else needs to be told but the biggest criminal organization who set up shop and taken over our town is right here next to me, several miles away. I could not touch it. Now, when, when you're on the corner of Cleveland or any place downtown and you're setting up the video camera or they just see you down there, what's the first thing that happens? security everywhere and they come up to you or they just kind of keep an eye on you they cover all the corners they pull out their video cameras they start filming then of course there's instances where i was attacked on the street that time now that was an operation oversaw overseen by the head of their osup which is former guardian's office right um it's called now the operations of special affairs to make it a little more palatable to the to the masses sure um, the gentleman who, who oversaw the operation was across the street on his cell phone, dictating how this person was supposed to go about doing what he did. Right, right, I get you. So it's, you know, it's insidious, brother. It really is. They Although got people called handlers. On it is really, really hard. It is very mafia-like. They got people called handlers. Like, if you're out there protesting, they have people to come out and just, like, get in your way uh -huh. to try to impede your progress. If you bump into them or something, they're like, like, a, like, a, like lawsuit. It's like a exactly. pickpocket function in Manhattan. Yeah, yeah, the one guy that bumps into you and the other guys pick up your, uh, your wallet. Exactly. exactly. Oh, my leg. Oh, my arm. Oh, my back. Yep. Luckily, I have a video camera at all times, and I get this footage. And in this case, you know, the police didn't seem that to think that there was such a crime involved after it went to the prosecutor's office. The guys on the street said, hey, this guy was assaulted. They even pulled out their own surveillance video and determined that I was a victim in the case. After this guy assaulted me twice, he came at me. What else do I need to do? <laughs> you know, come on, people. All right, all right, let me ask you this. Uh, now, if these, if you'd never went down there and uh, and got involved with these people, none of this stuff would be happening to you. What What is it about the uh, Scientologist that makes you uh, get all pissed off? Like Brent, every time Brent reads a website, he's like, "Oh, son of a bitch!" Blah, blah, blah. They're taking people's money. They're promising all sorts of claims. But it's not your money. What do you care? It's not my money. Yeah, it is my money. Right. I'm forking out all the money that and through taxes that has to beautify downtown for these guys. Nobody else is down there investing money. But, but listen, they, they are investing money into downtown. They own half the or real estate. Themselves. But it doesn't matter. And and, the, and if they're going to, I mean, Jesus, you drive through downtown Clearwater, and it is beautiful. And if and if because they're a majority landowner and they petition that the uh, the place gets uh, gets picked up a little bit, I can't say I blame them. If I was a major real estate holder, I'd want the city to keep up with what I, with my buildings, you know? Their big deal is it's all, it's all, it's all a pyramid scam, all right? They haven't finished anything downtown. they got a building now, one of their main project that's been sitting undone, open on one side, for six years. Where on earth can you do that on your regular house here, put it on addition, and leave it undone for six years and not have to go through all sorts of legal battles? If, it, I tell you, if your s and pool is in Plant City, put the goddamn <laughs> pool in three years ago, I haven't done a final inspection. <laughs> Sorry, Sean, but you, you sparked that out of me. Hey, listen, I, I think you have a very interesting uh, situation. The story is going to come out in the uh, in the Sunday St. Pete Times. I don't, I don't, I'm not uh, meaning to argue with you. I just don't understand. I, I, a couple, I started out the same way where I'm like, research. you'll understand real quick. I do, but the, the problem is, I, Brent showed me some stuff and I've read it and I, I've been down there and I've been scared by them a couple of times. But the truth is, it's just like anything else. I feel like if you stay away from them, they stay away from you. And and they, I, I have not gone into their world and none of it has affected me, at least that I know of. Well, I, you, you'd be curious to see what your file contains down there. Well, I know for a fact I have a file already. You do. They have a file on you and every other interested Clearwater citizen that they can dig up. I know I have a file because I've been down there before and uh, and been involved, like trying to do the radio stunt and stuff. And I know that they because every time something happens, they'll call me from there and they'll say, "Remember this on October 3rd? We talked to you about this." But and but I last spoke with them. I agreed because last time we had a conversation about Scientology, 
it, uh, it, the listeners call up right away, and there's some less educated listeners to the show sure. that just start calling up and screaming things out, and then by the time it gets back to them, it becomes we were bashing them on the air. Right. Yeah. And they and they call and say, hey, well, what's the problem? But I, it's very obvious to me that they have a good account of what's going on every time, but I'm not, I don't care. I'm not yeah, afraid well, of it, and I'm not bothering them, and, you know. Well, put it this way. If you had a loved one you had to separate from that was under direct hypnotic control from their church, would you not try to help them? No, I, I definitely would. That, that, that's what I'm saying, though. I don't know anybody associated with them. I, I don't have any. I didn't lose a kid to their religion. I didn't know a neighbor that went in. I don't. So I have no reason to start bashing them and to follow them around. And thank, thank God you haven't. Yeah. Uh, Count your blessings in that respect. If I did, then me and you will be down there next week with two video cameras. <laughs> Hey, your story sounds very interesting. You can check it out uh, this Sunday in the St. Pete Times. Or what is your website again? Sinotimes, S-C-I-E-N-O-T-I-M-E-S dot com. Or you can always read about the cult at Xenu dot net, X-E-N-U dot Favorite site, dude. All right, Sean. Thanks, brother. Have a good one. Thank See you it. very much. I, uh, I got to stay with my thought, though. Yeah. Uh, if you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. But what it is in most cases. Yeah, but I mean, and this guy, you know, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit of bull busting to get in there and kind of look around before you see stuff, and it's definitely interesting. But uh, I'm too afraid. I don't want to have anything to do with it because <laughs> I know what's going to happen. Even if, because a lot of times they'll call up and they'll say, "Listen, if you have a problem, come on down here. We'll give you a tour." And I'm like, "No, no," because I'm weak. Before I know it, I'll be leaving. I'll be leaving in a 4X blue shirt. I know how that goes. <laughs> Traffic 102.